Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, the scheme and solution for model question paper 1 for the third semester BE degree examination. The subject name Transform Calculus Korea Series and Numerical Techniques with the subject code 21 MAT 31. As I have already discussed uh, the module 1, now I am going to discuss uh, the module 2 questions from this question paper. That is, I am going to discuss only the question number 3. Here is the solution for module 2. The question number 3a is obtain the Fourier series. You require to obtain the Fourier series for the function f of x equal to pi minus x divided by 2 in the interval 0 comma 2 pi. So the given problem is of period 2 pi. Write down the given function f of x equal to pi minus x by 2. So how to analyze that it is a given function is period 2 pi just go with end interval minus uh, starting interval that is 2 pi minus 0 which will be equal to 2 pi. So now first of all we are going to check for even or odd function. So for that reason I am going to change the variable x to 2 pi minus x. So in the given function f of x I am going to change x to 2 pi minus x. I am going to get f of 2 pi minus x equal to pi minus of 2 pi minus x divided by 2. So multiply the negative sign pi minus 2 pi minus into minus will be plus x. So therefore uh, pi minus 2 pi is what minus pi plus x divided by 2. What you are left out here you are left out with minus pi plus x divided by 2. Now take out this negative sign and my plus can be written as minus into minus minus into minus so therefore i am taking out negative sign common here so you are left out with minus of pi minus x divided by 2 so which is nothing but this value is nothing but what f of x so finally you are left out with minus f of x what we consider f of 2 pi minus x we consider we are getting back with what minus f of x therefore we say that the given function is odd function. In case if you get plus f of x here, in case if you get plus f of x, we say that it is even function. As the given function is odd function, we can define a naught and a n as 0. In case if it is even function, we can define b1, b n as 0. Therefore, we require to find the Fourier series of f of x as summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin nx bn sin nx what is bn bn is nothing but 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx now we know what is f of x just substitute that under the integral sign it will be pi minus x by 2 and here 2 by 2 get cancelled as it is product we can cancel these two terms after cancelling you are left out with what 1 by pi integral 0 to pi pi minus x sin nx dx. So now apply integration by parts or Bernoulli's rule. So for Bernoulli's rule you can refer the previous video I have explained uh, with an examples you can go with the Bernoulli's rule examples. So here it, this term will be called as u and this will be named as v by using Eilert rule. So u into integral of v integral of sin nx is minus cos nx divided by n minus derivative of u there are differentiation of pi minus x is minus 1 into integral of this value is minus cos nx integration is sin nx divided by n. So already we have uh, having n here. So n into n, n square. So minus sin nx divided by n square limit why we are stopping at this stage means derivative of minus 1 is 0. So therefore we are going to stop the integration. So put the limits x equal to 0 to pi. So now when I apply upper limit minus lower limit this second term will be leads to 0 since sin n pi is 0 and sin 0 is 0 upper limit minus lower limit is 0. You are left out with only the first term pi minus x into cos nx divided by n taking out negative sign we are left out with this and now apply the limits when I apply upper limit pi minus pi will be 0 apply lower limit when uh, x equal to 0 pi minus 0 is pi into cos 0 is 1 so therefore pi into 1 is pi with negative sign if we have as we have negative sign here you are left out with 0 minus pi will be minus pi into minus 1 by n pi 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 get cancelled 
finally you are left out with 1 by n finally you are left out with what 1 by n so substitute this 1 by n in the function f of x so which is nothing but summation n equal to 1 to infinity sin nx divided by n is the required Fourier series for the given function pi minus x divided by e2. So moving on to question number 3b find the off range Fourier cosine series for the function f of x equal to x minus 1 whole square in the interval 0 to 1 and hence show that pi square by 8 equal to 1 over 1 square plus 1 over 3 square plus 1 over 5 square etc. So you should know, note that the given function is f of x equal to x minus 1 the whole square in the interval 0 to 1 as it is arbitrary constant this value is nothing but L. This value is what L or 2L as it is off range series. So directly off range series will lies between the interval 0 to L. That's why I am writing this value as L. L equal to 1 here. And the off range cosine series is given by the formula f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by L. Substitute the value of L. We are going to get a naught by 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by 1 is what n pi x name this as equation star and we are going to find out the value of a naught and a n. What is a naught? a naught is given by the formula 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x dx. So what is f of x? You, we know that uh, x minus 1 the whole square from the interval 0 to 1 we require to integrate this. So integral of x square we know x square is nothing but x cube by 3 as similarly we can integrate this as x minus 1 whole square can be written as x minus 1 whole cube divided by 3 limit x equal to 0 to 1. Now give upper limit 1 minus 1 will be 0 lower limit when I give lower limit 0 minus 1 whole cube that is minus 1 whole cube minus 1 whole cube is minus 1. So here 2 by 3 I have taken 1 by 3 outside you are left out with 2 by 3 into minus into minus plus so the finally a naught value is 2 by 3 as we require to have the answer a naught by 2 divide by 2 we are going to get a naught by 2 equal to 1 by 3. Now we require to find out a n a n is given by 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x cos n pi x by l substitute the value of l so 2 by 1 integral 0 to 1 x minus 1 the whole square into cos n pi x dx. So which is equal to 2 times of apply integration by parts or Bernoulli's rule. I am going with Bernoulli's rule. u that is x minus 1 whole square integral of cos is min, uh, integral of cos is sin n pi x by n pi. Since we have n pi x derivative of n pi x is n pi minus differentiation of x minus 1 the whole square is 2 times of x minus 1 into integral of sin is minus cos n pi x divided by n square pi square differentiation of n pi is n pi x is n pi so already we were having n pi multiplication of n pi into n pi becomes n square pi square plus differentiation of 2 times of x minus 1 is 2 into 1 that is 2 minus difference integration of cos is sin so minus sin n pi x divided by n square pi square we are having already into multiplied by n pi it becomes n cube pi cube. Substitute the limits x equal to 0 to 1. When I substitute the limits these two terms will vanishes. As I give upper limit sin n pi will be 0 and lower limit sin 0 is 0. That's why these two terms leads to 0. So you are left out with only this term. So which is nothing but what minus into minus plus 2 times of x minus 1 divided by n square pi square times of cos n pi x. Substitute the limits x equal to 0 to 1 for this. When I substitute upper limit so 1 minus 1 will be 0. Uh, 0 into real value will be 0. You are going to left out with lower limit. So when I put x equal to 0, 0 minus 1 is minus 1 into cos 0 is 1. I am going to take out this 2 outside. You are left out with 2 into 2 
by n square pi square times of 0 minus of minus 1 will be plus 1. So, plus 1 is multiplied by 2 into 2, 4 by n square pi square. That is what an value. Finally, an value is what? 4 by n square pi square. You came to know what is the value of an and you, have, you got the value of a naught by 2. Substitute these two values in equation star. We are going to get f of x equal to 1 by 3 plus 4 by n square pi square as we have summation here. Summation depends on the value n here. Put that n inside cos n pi x whole divided by n square. This is whole divided by n square. Make a note of it. This is whole divided by n square. Don't write as cos of n pi x divided by n square. Don't do such a mistake. Name this as equation 1. As we require to find the summation. So, put x equal to 0 in 1. So, therefore, we are going to get f of 0 equal to 1 by 3 times of 4 by pi square. Summation n equal to 1 to infinity. Put x equal to 0 here. Therefore, cos 0 divided by n square. Expand this summation by giving n equal to 1 to infinity. We are going to get cos 0 value is 1. We are going to get 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus etc. So on. So, simplifying this shift this 1 by 3 to left hand side 1 minus 1 by 3 becomes 2 by 3 and cross multiply 4 by pi square you are going to get pi square by 4 simplify this 2 ones are 2 twos are you are left out with pi square by 6 since 3 twos are 6 which is equal to 1 plus 1 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus etc name this as equation 2 what we require to prove you should, you can see that pi square by 8 equal to 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square. Summation of only the odd terms. Sums of squares of odd terms in the denominator which is equal to pi square by 8. What we have got here pi square by 6 pi square by 6 equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square. So, we should vanish 1 by 2 square 1 by 4 square 1 by 6 square all the even terms should get vanishes. So, for that reason put x equal to 1 in equation 1. Put equation put x equal to 1 in equation 1. So, we are going to get f of x f of x that is f of 1 equal to 1 by 3 plus 4 by pi square summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 over n square cos n pi into 1 that becomes cos n pi. Now, expand this by giving n equal to 1, 2, 3, so on, etc. So, we are going to get f of 1 is what? 0 minus 1 by 3. Since put x equal to 1 in f of x, therefore, that is 1 minus 1 will be 0. Since the given problem is x minus 1 the whole square, x minus 1 the whole square, give n e x equal to 1 here, 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1 by 3 where we got this uh, minus 1 by 3 means just shift this 1 by 3 to the left hand side that becomes 0 minus 1 by 3 which is equal to 4 by pi square into summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 power n since cos n pi is given by minus 1 power n divided by n square. So, multiplying cross multiplying this 4 by pi square to right uh, left hand side we are going to get minus pi square by 3 fours are 12 which is equal to expanding this n equal to 1 when I give n equal to 1 minus 1 power 1 divided by 1 square it is minus 1 by 1 square minus 1 power 2 is nothing but plus 1 divided by 2 square plus minus 1 power 3 is nothing but minus 1 plus into minus minus 1 by 3 square plus minus etc we are going to get multiplying by negative sign we are going to get pi square by 12 which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus plus etc. Name this as equation 3. Now adding equation 2 and 3, adding equation 2 and 3 we are going to get pi square by 6 plus pi square by 12 which is equal to 1 plus 1, 1 plus this 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 here plus 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 2 square get cancelled plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 3 square becomes 2 by 3 square that is what we have got. Similarly, 1 by 4 square, 1 by 4 square get cancelled. You are left out with uh, 
plus uh, 2 by 5 square similarly plus 2 by 7 square etc taking 2 common and simplifying that we are going to get 3 pi square by 12 here 3 1s are 3 4s are multiplied by 2 we are going to get pi square by 8 equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus etc is the required solution for the given problem moving on to question number 3 find the fourier series expansion of y up to first harmonic if it is given by the value x and f of x as follows so here we require to solve this problem by harmonic analysis I have explained the shortcut method in my previous video uh, everyone can watch that uh, previous video both for the period 2l and for the period 2 pi i have explained i will be giving uh, that link in my description so just i will explain how to solve this so here the interval is given by 0 to 6 so that's why i will name that as 2l equal to 6 l equal to 3 and n equal to 6 so therefore the fourier series for period 2l is given by f of x equal to a naught by 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l put l equal to 3 and the first harmonic is given by f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus a 1 cos pi x by 3 plus b 1 sin pi x by 3 have, for my convenient i am going to put pi x by 3 equal to theta uh, therefore, the first harmonic is given as y equal to a naught by 2 plus a1 cos theta plus b1 sin theta. I am going to construct a table x theta y cos theta y sin theta y cos theta. So, find out the summation y cos theta and y sin theta. Then a naught is given by the formula uh, 2 by n summation y and you all be you will be knowing the values of summation y you can consider that and find out a naught value from that we are going, are going to find out a naught by 2 similarly a1 is given by 2 by n summation y cos theta substitute uh, summation y cos theta value and simplify that we are going to get minus a 8.33 b1 value is given by 2 by n summation uh, y cos sin theta you know what is the summation y sin theta and n substitute that those values we are going to get b1 value substitute a naught by 2 a1 b1 in uh, above equation we are going to get the first harmonics as follows this is what a naught by 2 a1 value b1 value substitute all these three values in this expression in this expression we are going to get the desired result so these are the uh, problems i have solved from model question paper of set 1 with question number 3 if you like this video kindly do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video